What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Partner7, and welcome back to Survive Island, the most hardcore and probably hardest survival game I have ever played. I have finally learned a fair bit of recipes. I have finally built a structure that I am somewhat happy with and I will be putting a video up of that later on down the track. Now today guys this is not going to be a 40 minute video in fact I'm just going to answer one of the big questions in the community at the moment is how to build a fiber mattress. I am going to build a second one um, I haven't finished the interior of this it's starting to come along. I have built a backpack I have built a spear I have built all this clothing that I'm wearing right now um, so I have gotten uh, somewhere and it's a long way I have come from this shitty as little building there. But in saying that, um, if you guys are wanting to figure out more or want to ask some questions, please do join the Discord channel for this game as well. It is very helpful. There's some great guys out there uploading videos and the devs are very active working on things. I just want to have a quick side note and mention there has been two updates that have come out, two of which have done uh, one of two things. One, we no longer need to have to select um, and not to craft in certain spots so they fixed up fixed up the crafting a little bit the other update is actually with the bed itself before you had to just lie on it and fall asleep now it actually gives you an options uh where uh, how long you want to sleep for you then hold uh, e and it just says i'm not sleepy because i've already slept um but the answer to everyone's question how do you sleep how do you rest well you can do it normally you can just press x and then you can go Oh, I want to sleep so you hold X again um, but obviously I'm not sleepy so I won't do it again it just puts you down to lie down it does regenerate a little bit of um, off your uh, fatigue but not all of it the best way to do it is to sleep on a mattress so with that you will need 16 pieces of fiber I hope I have for dear god I have enough rope we will find out in a second you put your four pieces of fiber onto these benches like this you will then tie up each spot and this is probably very time consuming you actually need to make four of these to even uh, get near uh, the final stage of getting your mattress but once you've got it it is so worth it all right so that makes this which is a braided fiber now from there we won't need this for a second so what we'll do is we'll put it down there we will craft the other bits in pieces um just put this back to my uh bar so let's do it again put four of Put four of these right onto the uh, workbench. Love this workbench, by the way. Super handy. Um, we will then bring out the fourth piece, and then we'll bring out a rope. Now, my rope is about to go. I know that. This is probably the last time I can use it. So, let's have a look. One. That's it. Grab this one out. I might actually just have enough to do it all. This might actually be well planned. <laughs> Uh, you guys also let me know what you want to see next. Uh, do you want to see something else? Do you want to see me uh, teach you guys how to make uh, anything else anyway? I'm at the moment trying to figure out how to make the bow and arrow. As soon as I figure that out, I'll be pretty uh, sweet. I haven't uh, searched the waters, tried to find any creatures or anything like that. Um, so at the moment, I don't know what I can actually kill. Um, so at the moment, I've got the spear, which is quite actually... Uh, not handy for anything I just thought I'd make it because I thought I'd figure out how to make it and I thought it would be uh, useful um, but at the moment it isn't useful because I don't know what to use it for uh, maybe fishing maybe I might be able to jump in the water and do a um, cast away and kill some fishes uh, grab this piece here all right got two more spots oh I missed it. I love that movie cast away it's such a good film all right actually the, the way I'm dressed at the moment I kind of look like Robert and Cru uh, Robinson Crusoe well, it's one of the little books I used to do as an essay all right so that is number three just gonna build one more <sighs> luckily I've got all the fiber set out and the backpack has been so handy so I probably will actually teach you guys how to make that later if someone hasn't beaten me to it um, it's been a bit of a grind to even get to the stage we are like now so I've been enjoying this game, no doubt about it. So thank you Des for making this game. This has been absolutely amazing and your support has been great. And thank you guys for watching the last video and all your comments and all your support as well. It really does mean a lot to myself um, and to the others that also have been making content. Thank you very much guys for the support and all your kind words. And we're hoping we're teaching you a few things the way we go. It is not an easy game and 
all of us supporting each other through this and helping each other through it will be the best way. So remember guys, I will be leaving a link in the Discord uh, for the Discord channel down below. It's not my Discord, it is for the game itself. I hope I've got enough charge left in this uh, rope and I don't have to run off and fetch it. So you got to tie all four of these pieces together. Oh, I might just have enough. Oh my god, this is planned to perfection. Boom. So, from that, it will create a bedroll. Um, so, I might actually put this one here in, this, in the stars. If it's, I've got enough room. No, I don't. Alright, we'll put it into this place. Should I make myself a double bed? Now we'll put it here for now. There we go. So, that is, guys, how you make a bed fiber roll. It's a very handy little tool. Uh, well, not tool. Uh, very handy. You can then choose how many hours you want to sleep. So, for example, I'll see if I can actually do it now. I'm still not sleepy. One if I can do is an hour. You're not sleepy. Maybe I might have a bit of a run around. Actually, I do need to eat something. So, that gives me something to quickly do. Um, and, oh, another thing that I've noticed as well since the update. Um, I've got actually my slots back. These actually disappeared for a little while. But they're now back. So, that's always handy. I know you guys are probably thinking, why are you bashing open the co coconut? Don't you need to drink something? Um, my fluids are actually quite high at the moment. So, I just want to quickly eat them. Uh, at the moment, coconuts are the best source of water that I know of. Um, I'm still learning a lot of the mechanics in the game. I've actually learned now not to cut down these big trees because these trees are very hard to come by um, and they have coconuts in them, which is my food source. So I'm being very careful not to. I've already destroyed about one of those and I'll probably be releasing a little bit of a montage video of me building this and how time consuming it was. I cut it down from about an hour to about 10 minutes just to give you guys a bit of an idea of the complexity of the building and this is not even done. I've only upgraded some of the posts and that kind of stuff and I'm hoping to actually finish it with a second story. But we'll see what happens guys. Um, I will probably uh, see you guys in the next video with probably another tutorial on how to build the braided backpack and perhaps maybe even the clothes. That would be a pretty neat little video. But before then, I'm Pi97. I'll catch you on the next one.